Well, good day, YouTubers, friends, and family from across the world. This is Mike from Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We're on November 18th, 2018. Welcome to another surviving day. Welcome to another video from Morning Dew. Something I wanted to point out here with everybody is something that I noticed. This right here is the Concow Reservoir. Now, this sits just northeast, well, pretty much right beside where the campfire started in California. Now, I'm going to get more in depth here, okay? We're going to look at carbon dioxide emissions. So this is from the fires. Now, in on the East Coast, they got a lot of the smoke from the California fires as it headed, headed east. But you can see on the West Coast where the fires were, California, or sorry, still are, and God bless, thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected by these fires. People are still missing. Countless people are missing. Over a thousand. I'm sure of it now. So stay aware and prepared, folks. Things are changing drastically across the planet. Now, this is what I wanted to show you. This is a map of the sulfur dioxide emissions. So the whole west coast, the Rocky Mountains, whole west coast of North America has countless dormant volcanoes. Now watching the sulfur dioxide emissions over the area of the fire in Chico, I'm just going to zoom in here. You can see a lot of sulfur dioxide emissions and they just keep pumping out day after day. So what I'm wondering is there could be any, could there be any dormant volcanoes in this area? Right above Chico? Just look at these sulfur dioxide emissions. Off the charts, up to 98 at one point. So I started doing some more investigating. So I hop over to Google Earth and I go into the area in question. So this is the valley where the fire started. Paradise, just east of Chico. We're going to zoom into this area. This is where the fire was. Paradise, this is the valley that it ripped through. Right here. What does this look like to you? To myself, it kind of looks like a crater that is just northeast. That has a huge reservoir atop of it. I'm wondering, could this be an old dormant volcano that hasn't even been documented? Looking at Google Earth, you can see it is at a higher elevation and it looks like a crater. So the correlation from the volcanoes in North America and the fires that are breaking out in California are becoming a little bit clearer, especially when you look at a massive crater like this. You can see the flow to the north and flow to the south. So at one point, this could have been a mud volcano. It may not have bursted out, 
clouds of ash and lava, rocks, like a regular volcano. I want to show you here NASA Worldview. Since the fire started. This is the area in question. This is the reservoir right here over top of this smoke. So over the coming days, you can see that it just kept pluming. And it, when you look at that dark, dark smoke, that looks like volcanic ash, especially with the dark gray. It's very interesting indeed. So let's put this in motion. Still, it burned, I believe, 12,000 acres of land in about 12 hours. But there was still this plume coming out of the area of the Concow Reservoir. We go over to USGS and we look at recent activity. This is the last seven days for all earthquakes, 0, 0.0 and greater. But the area in question is right in the middle of the East Rift and the West Rift. So could there be pressure releasing in an old fissure somewhere? Gases being released? This whole area is littered by pumping, old pumping operations. So we know that there was definitely something there. But to me, it looks like a crater. And if you go just south, I'm gonna go to something that is called Crater Mountain. So it's definitely a crater. This whole area is volcanic. So if there's a correlation between the fires and volcanic activity, then we ain't seen nothing yet because this is going to keep happening along the west coast. San Andreas fault line, Cascadia subduction zone, straight up to Cascadia. Stay aware and prepared folks. Things are changing drastically across the planet and we're still learning together. So I'm just throwing it out there that this could be a possibility of an old dormant volcano just northeast, no, pretty much where the fires were actually. So I could be right. I could be wrong, but the Concow Reservoir could possibly be a dormant becoming active volcano. If that's the case, then we've got some serious problems coming our way soon because this could be a sign of things to come. Thanks for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. Please share this video. Get your morning due. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.
Thank you.